Zebra stripes, they're not just for zebra anymore. It's true, they make a stunning fashion statement. But for an animal living on the African plain, alongside the king of beasts, hanging out in a bold black and white outfit just seems like a bad idea, especially if you're considered a delicacy. I'm leading a team of biologists in a quest to discover how the zebra got its stripes. Because zebra stripes are so enigmatic, many different cultures have come up with imaginative stories to explain them. The San of Namibia tell a story in which the zebra stripes were scorched on as it ran through fire. But what's the real story? A great place to start looking is in the zebra genome. Identifying the genes coding for striping is essential for understanding how stripes evolved. In addition, because natural selection leaves a footprint on the genome, we can tell from the genes whether or not striping is advantageous. To identify the genes controlling a trait, it is essential to have variation in that trait. So to identify the genes controlling striping, we're studying plain zebra and taking advantage of the fact that they are not all equally striped. In some places, like the fashion accessories, they are strictly black and white and striped from head to toe. In other places, zebra have lost striping on their legs and black stripes are interspersed with paler shadow stripes. We'll be sampling three populations with fully striped zebra and three with less striped zebra. At each site, we'll photograph zebra, dart them with a needle that takes a small pinch of skin, pick up the sample, and preserve it for its trip back to the lab. In the lab, we'll use cutting-edge technology to sequence DNA from all over the genome and sift through huge amounts of data to locate the striping genes. In these same genes, we'll look for the footprints of natural selection that could suggest that striping is advantageous. But if we find evidence that stripes are advantageous, what does that mean? Like African tribes, scientists have come up with many ideas about why zebra are striped. A herd of zebra is known as a dazzle. One thought is that a lot of striped zebra running this way and that confuses, or dazzles, potential predators. Another idea is that because a zebra's stripes are as unique as a fingerprint, these social animals may use them to recognize each other. One way to begin to understand the advantages of striping is to map how striping and the genes coding for striping vary in relation to environmental variables. This is now possible using climate data and other data gathered by satellites. Some plain zebra live in hot climates, others in cooler ones. One hypothesis is that stripes help zebra regulate their body temperature. If this is correct, we would expect variation in striping to map to the temperature variation we see in this map. Stripes may even help zebra avoid disease by helping them avoid the bites of insects like tsetse flies. We can compare our data to tsetse fly distributions as another way to test this hypothesis. As you can see, there's no lack of ideas, but how the zebra got its stripes still remains a mystery. These are exciting times in which the genome is becoming like an open book in which we can read and understand how traits like striping came to be. But to succeed, we need your help. Together, we can discover how the zebra got its stripes.